I've always been interested in making jewelry. It's the first time in a very long time that I can see having some kind of career or future that I could be passionate about. I am somebody that's born and raised in the Bay Area. I've been on my own since I was 15, um, and I didn't get the opportunity to go to college when I was younger. I had to work, I had to survive. This is kind of my second chance in a lot of ways, and finding this program has given me so much hope for a future that I never thought that I would have. I was working for a sculptor for um, the last three years or so, and that was mostly in um, like most of the work we did was like large architectural like metal fabrication, so big steel things, a lot of welding, um, and that was part of my choice in in getting into the metal arts here is like learning those like more unusual um, metalworking skills that are like very valuable for me as a sculptor. In my time here, I've learned a lot about just generally like how to like work at a smaller scale and do like really fine, delicate metalworking. It's not safe to learn how to do this online. Every single time I walk into this room, I learn something new that is marketable. I have lots and lots and lots of options. And all these options that I have are because of this program. One thing I really like about CCSF is that um, it's very diverse within like um, age, uh, religion, and um, um, ethnicity. Learning manufacturing kind of helps with uh, industrial design. I'm trying to kind of start a business with my little brother. Jack has a lot of experience in, in, the, in the fields. He cares more about the students. This is an education they can afford. It's in a location they have access to and it is equipped, the studio is equipped uh, with the breadth of equipment and possibilities that they can explore uh, designs and forms only limited by their imagination. The administrators decided to cut close to 300 classes from the spring 2020 schedule from City College. They gutted my complete program for metal arts. There are no substitutes for it. I've been advocating against class cuts for over a year. I've experienced different types of cuts, but they've at least waited for students to enroll and give them a fighting chance to even show if there's interest in the class. The top administrators, Tom Bogle, Deanna Gonzalez, and Mark Rocha, the chancellor, all made these decisions without consulting with department chairs on which classes to cut. The need to right size the college is dictated by the state mandated new student funding formula, declining enrollment, and shrinking revenue, we have no choice but to make institutional decisions accordingly. The romantic notion that a community college has something for everyone is just not sustainable. I haven't had a good cry about it yet because I've been so busy working, but I'm really, really, really um, upset to see this program disappear. It's, it's living in San Francisco, it's hard enough to find a workshop and then it's expensive, so it's not, now it's just like, I don't know what I'm going to do. It hits me deep that it's been cut. Um, there are no other public schools in the area that offer a metal arts program, so without the one at City College, I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of like furthering my skill ability um, because I can't afford colleges like CCA or the Art Institute.
In the past few weeks, we had a consistent effort from a lot of different students like Student Assembly, CCSF Collective, CCSF Student Says, many of the students from the programs that were cut like Art in Action, CCSF, Fort Mason, and all these different groups have been campaigning with AFT 2121, which is the Teachers Association, in order to get an emergency bridge fund from the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. As time goes on and gets closer to the start of the spring 2020 semester, it's getting more difficult to reinstate classes. <laughs>